Today I'm here sharing with all of you some new games that just hit mobile with a variety of genres so that there's definitely something on the list today that you're gonna like. Whether it's an action RPG hell slayer or a really cute platformer, everything for your desire you'll find in this video. The first game we're looking at here today is Little Triangle, which is clearly a platformer style game that is definitely cute but this one is unique and different than many others. This one is a hand-drawn platformer action game, and it's got a ton of adventure in it as well. This game is really for anyone that's into a game that is one, a platformer, or two, a little bit more casual in how it's played. With that being said, don't let casual fool you for easy because this game can be extremely challenging and it's gonna have you coming back and forth trying to beat each of the levels. You're gonna have to navigate through various different types of traps and fend off attacking enemies while jumping with skill. And basically your job here is to rescue your triangular companions, the little triangle. And really it's just a lot of fun with a little bit of lore and some amazing characters that you'll encounter along the way. Moco is next on today's list, and Moco is one of Supercell's latest games that brings us into an MMO-style world. You're going to be diving into a futuristic game that is extremely easy to pick up and play. It's not too deep where you find yourself lost inside of the game and trying to figure out the best way to min-max. It's just easy enough for players to jump in and enjoy, but with just enough depth so that it keeps you entertained for a long period of time. This game is available right now on Android in beta for those people that have access, but it is incredibly fun to play. There's different types of events you could go in, whether it's open world farming and just playing in the open world, whether it's taking down big bosses or doing dungeon raids with friends. This game has everything that MMOs have to offer put into a very friendly package done as I like to say, the Supercell way. I believe that this game will be going global sooner than later. We don't exactly know when that's going to be. I did put other videos out on this channel featuring MoCo if you want a more in-depth look at it. But as you choose your character, you're gonna have a bunch of different weapons, a bunch of different gadgets, and a bunch of different skills that you can utilize to take down enemies along the way and enjoy this game that's really made to play with others. Next up is Lost Ark Mobile. And this is one that we cannot miss when it drops. We don't yet know when the game is gonna be releasing. And with only a teaser trailer out right now, it's one that everyone is going to keep their eye on. An open world action RPG MMO style game with tons of depth and really a fan favorite on PC. This thing is going to slaughter on mobile and be absolutely incredible. I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel when this launches so that you don't miss it. And I'll probably bring you a day one video showing you exactly what it's like. And then we have the latest action RPG on mobile, Dungeon Hunter 6. With many different classes to choose from, you have the variety to enjoy battle the way you like to enjoy it, to enjoy upgrading the way you like to upgrade, and to grind through an action RPG that's incredibly fun and that has the lore and the love that everyone had from the previous titles. In this one, you'll be sure to enter uncharted territories, reunite with iconic characters, and experience a new level of excitement in this extraordinary brand new version of the Dungeon Hunter series that is obviously available right now. I actually have my own personal link if you want to download this on Bluestacks, and I will try to remember to leave that in the description of this video. Kingdom 80s. This is a $5 game that takes you back in time to when things were just a little bit more simple, a little bit more bright, and a little bit, well, it was the 80s, guys, and if you were around back then, you'll be able to vibe with this game 100%. It's a standalone expansion to the award-winning Kingdom series, a single player adventure of micro-strategy and base building inspired by the neon lights of, of course, the 80s. You play as the leader, a young camp counselor who'll have to defend their town and family the relentless attacks of the mysterious greed. What are these monsters and why are they trying to steal from my family? The crown of creation. What this game is basically doing is taking back some really great 80s memories and slapping them onto a game genre that many people already love. 
Make sure you let me know in the comments section below what's your favorite new game that you're playing. I don't want to know about the old stuff. I'm talking about something brand new. Let me know what's on your mind. Rune Story. This is a 2D roguelike action shooter game for holding your smartphone in a vertical fashion, which makes it extremely casual for gameplay. You're gonna move and aim and shoot at high speeds using one finger operation. You're gonna get into high tempo battles and really be able to do it in a very easy to play way. Hey, and it's One Punch Man. This one you could pre-register for right now and it's your turn to become a hero for a fun and highly anticipated action-packed and immersive game set in the world of the hit anime series one punch man one punch man world follow the journey of satama a hero for fun play the game play the anime defeat the king the mosquito girl the beast king and many other familiar bosses that you know from the genre from the series and from the story along the way. Again, pre-register for this one now because it's not quite yet available. And here's a little peek of what the actual gameplay looks like so you know what to expect after your pre-registration. Wall Breaker Remastered. Inside of this game, you are simply destroying stuff. It's better to destroy things in game than it would be to destroy things in real life. So take out that frustration that you may have on the screen instead of on the walls or by throwing the screen. Super fun destruction style game that has a pretty easy to understand and learn and pick up game mechanic. Again, this is a great example of a game that doesn't take too much to learn that you could pick up and easily enjoy just because it's so simple to pick up and learn how to enjoy. There's very little learning involved, people. Have fun with this one and destroy some stuff. Sanity Chase. This is a 2v5 asymmetrical competitive game. You're going to enjoy unique arc styles and engage in 2v5 gameplay and the excitement of playing with friends. Welcome to a lost kingdom in which you are going to embark and be able to learn the way to play. Me personally, I love the type of artwork being used here and the hunters are pretty darn creepy. When you look at the gameplay, it reminds you a bit of a MOBA, how the game looks, the top-down style. But when you look at what the game actually is, it's quite different. You're going to be playing as the hunted, the prey, and try to escape. So I like the Dead by Daylight gameplay mixed with the League of Legends look inside of this one. It's the first time that I've seen it done, and I actually quite like it. So you need a new card style or puzzle style game in a vertical format. Sorcery School may be the one that you're looking for. As you can see, extremely casual experience you're gonna have with this game. But at the same time, while playing a game of cards that you may enjoy, you get to do damage to these really cute characters that are up top that are actually your opponents in this battle. I think the developers here have actually done a really nice job taking a genre that can be kind of boring and stale and making it fun with how it works with your opponent inside of the game. Definitely fun, but also definitely a casual experience for someone that doesn't want to spend hours playing a single game. Badminton Blitz Championship. There's something that you guys don't know about me, and that is that I used to love playing badminton back when I was a phys ed teacher. I know, maybe you'll find that weird, but it's actually so much fun to play. And inside of this one, you're going to be able to learn the sport, upgrade your characters, set up tournaments with your friends, and have real matches anytime that you want that only last three minutes, making it a beautiful fit for mobile. There are not a ton of sports games to choose from on mobile devices, so when you get one that's a good sport and that's done really well, that's really fun to play, it's worth downloading. I think this is one of those games. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's video.